Hello friends, in continuation with the last lecture, today we are going to talk about the uh, next topic that is basic equation and this could be the your last topic of the uh, first module and this uh, uh, equation for the semiconductor device operation uh, it, it describes the static and the uh, dynamic behavior of the carriers in the semiconductor under the under what under the external influences uh, what are the external influences here which will be used such as the applied uh, fields that could be the electric field or the magnetic field or else uh, the uh, optical excitation as well that actually causes the deviation uh, from the thermal equilibrium condition so this actually because of the application of the external fields uh, or else optical excitation this causes the deviation of the thermal equilibrium which, which is initially uh, the semiconductor uh, possesses these basic equations uh, can be classified into the three groups the first is the electrostatic equations the second one is the uh, current density equations and the uh, uh, last is the continuity equations and these equations are quite familiar for all of you I, we are just trying to uh, revise them okay. uh, in uh, some certain uh, or the from the uh, semiconductor perspectives so the first equation is the electrostatic equation as we know that when uh, the electrostatic equation comes in our mind obviously we think of the Maxwell's equation so there are two important equations relating the charge uh, to the current uh, sorry charge uh, uh, to the electric field and uh, obviously this would be uh, maybe something like uh, in the presence of the material medium or as in absence uh, of the material medium so the electric field which can be also um, represented as a d by epsilon s uh, here d is a electric uh, displacement uh, current now Okay. Uh, so the first uh, uh, is uh, from the one of the Maxwell's equation. So the uh, and what is the uh, one of the Maxwell's equation? Gradient of the electric displacement current uh, gives us the uh, charge uh, density. Okay, and that is del dot uh, mm -hmm. d uh, is equal to rho, and uh, rho is a function of the x y z. It is also known as the Wasp law of the uh, Poisson's uh, equation. Uh, for the one-dimensional problem, this equation reduces to uh, more useful, uh, more useful form of uh, and, uh, what is that form? That is d2 psi by dx square is equal to minus, or, uh, or, or else this psi is uh, not the wave function you know, of the intense material. No, it is uh, something different here. Okay, so d2 psi by dx square is equal to minus uh, de by dx is equal to minus or rho by epsilon s we have just uh, replaced the things in, and in the more is rearranging the terms in this so rho by epsilon or as say the, this rho is uh, nothing but the depending upon the how much amount of the uh, charge densities are present here so this uh, n represents the uh, electron charge uh, density and uh, this represents the how many number of the holes are there and uh, how much will be um, remained after the recombinations are uh, happening uh, within the material so this is something like okay, the charge remains after the recombination of the holes and the electrons one. so this difference gives us and also the donor and the acceptor uh, uh, concentrations or else the donor and the acceptor impurities are present within the uh, material so that difference gives us the what is the amount of the charge which will be left or, or there are charge density which will be left over um, the, within the uh, material pump. So this is gradient of the electric field along the uh, x direction. And obviously this uh, psi is nothing but the, uh, you can say it is uh, nothing but the potential one. So psi i uh, which is equal to minus e i by q. So commonly, uh, this is commonly used actually. For example, to determine the potential and the field distribution caused by the charge density rho within the depletion uh, layer so within the depletion layer we are just not uh, about the second equation uh, deals with the uh, charge density along the interface instead of the bulk charge so the boundary conditions uh, across the interface of the charge sheet q which is given as uh, i think what the e1 of the left hand side of that boundary is zero minus so just um, uh, left of the uh, boundary into the uh, how much is the uh, uh, epsilon 1 that is the uh, electrics uh, 
the epsilon one uh, is nothing but the permittivity of the one of the medium which is present on the point of the or else on the left hand side or uh, else okay one of the uh, of material in the genes or the p p region okay uh, and p injection if you just uh, try to consider similarly on the e2 uh, of the um, 0 plus uh, uh, into epsilon uh, 2 the, this is nothing but the uh, electric field uh, just uh, on the uh, end region end region of the uh, material the right hand side of the boundary just right hand side of the uh, boundary uh, corresponding to the its uh, epsilon 2 corresponds to the uh, permittivity of that uh, material material on the right hand side and this is uh, this difference will give us the what is the charge which is left okay uh, on that uh, within that region uh, then the next equation is uh, nothing but the current density equation current density equation that we know that j is equal to sigma into e j is nothing but the current density and the e is after the electric field so the most common current uh, conduction consists of the drift component and which is caused by the electric field and the uh, diffusion component which is caused by the carrier con concentration uh, gradient carrier concentration gradient because of the uh, inequalities in the uh, constant ca carrier concentrations that will give us the diffusion of the charges from the one side to the other way and also mm, uh, this can be also a uh, drift component one of the uh, component uh, which is uh, helping to have the current density equations here and that is over the left uh, field so the current density equations are nothing but the jn and this n stands for the electron uh, current density is equal to jn is equal to q times mu n n e plus q t n uh, delta n where q is charge mu n is mobility of the uh, electrons n is the electron uh, carrier concentration applied electric field uh, then the dn is nothing but the is Einstein component and the delta n is nothing but the carrier concentration gradient similarly you can write for write, write down for the uh, holes as well so holes uh, uh, current uh, density and the total current density uh, of the conduction is nothing but the uh, summation of the both this current uh, density where j and n, jp are the electron and hole current densities uh, respectively for the non degenerate uh, semiconductor uh, the carrier diffusion components uh, that is dn and uh, dp uh, and the mobilities are given by the Einstein relation that is dn is equal to kt by q into mu n so okay, these are the dn and dp are the I think about the carrier diffusion uh, components for example uh, for a one dimensional case these above equations re reduces to the uh, something like uh, some uh, complicated equation that is jn is equal to q time so mu n n e plus uh, q into dn dn by dx so for the one of the uh, instead of the delta n we have just considered the one dimensional case along the x axis that is dn by uh, dx so now uh, just try to substitute the value of the dn and uh, dn is equal to kt um, by uh, q into mu n and uh, just try to uh, rearrange the terms in the equation and this gives us the uh, q uh, is taken out of it and the mu n as well and so what we can say q into mu n uh, d e f n by dx and uh, similarly we can have the another equation for the holes as well and here this uh, uh, e f n is or uh, the e f v are coming from the quasi fermi levels or they are called as the quasi fermi levels for the electrons and holes and these equations are valid for the low level electric fields okay. low level electric fields only it is uh, possible uh, to have at sufficiently high fields the term mu n into e or the mu p into e, e uh, should be replaced by the uh, saturation uh, velocities because uh, the um, uh, carriers are acquiring the uh, highest velocity as the saturation velocity these equations do not include the effect from the external applied magnetic field because because, ap because of the application of the magnetic field uh, the magnetoresistive effect uh, reduces the current. Then the third uh, equation uh, is nothing but the continuity equation. Uh, While well, uh, just the above current density equations are for the steady state condition, 
the continuity equations uh, deal with the time dependent phenomena such as the low level injection generation and uh, recombination so what here uh, it is dealing with here the continuity equations uh, actually deal with the time dependent phenomena such as the low level injection generation and recombination because the above uh, these equations of the current density they are for the steady state conditions if suppose in the uh, current is changing with respect to the mm -hmm. time so uh, how it is uh, dealing with so qualitatively if we just talk about the net uh, change of the carrier concentration is you know, the difference between the generation and the recombination how many number of the charges are generated and out of that how much amount of them are recombined and whatever the left or is plus the net current flowing in and out of the uh, region of the interstellar so at some uh, uh, place within the uh, region if suppose the amount of the net current coming in and going out of the uh, particular uh, uh, the region of the uh, interest is the uh, important thing to consider so the continuity equations are here now these continuity equations are coming from the uh, rate of change of the uh, its carrier concentrations okay how they are so this is something like okay we have just talked about so the net uh, change of the carrier concentration which is I think with the difference between the generation and the recombination. This is the generation rate and this is the recombination. Plus the net uh, current flowing in and out that, that is given by the delta change or the gradient of the current uh, density. Okay. Uh, similarly, we can write down for the holes as well. dp by dt is equal to gp minus up plus uh, 1 by q del dot uh, jp. Uh, this uh, here this uh, generation gn and gp uh, mm, uh, for the electrons and holes uh, uh, rates that is uh, per uh, centimeter cube per second uh, respectively caused by the external influences such as optical excitation with the photons or the impact ionization under the large electric uh, fields so the recombination rates even is equal to delta uh, n by 2n and uh, up is equal to delta uh, p by 2p this 2n and 2p already we have seen uh, that the excess carrier lifetime in the last lecture so it have been already discussed in the previous lecture as well uh, for the uh, just consider the for the one of one dimensional case under the low level uh, injection condition uh, this above equations uh, reduces to the dn by dt is equal to gn minus np minus np 0 upon 2n plus np mu n dabai e by dabai x plus mu uh, uh, e dabai np by dabai x plus d n uh, daba 2 np by daba x squared and similarly you can write down the equation for the holes as well and similar equation for the thank you